Hello, I'm uh, going to demonstrate how to make an interface for the uh, BOM player software that I wrote to control the Mac uh, mod, the Beano Mac mod. It's fairly simple, you need uh, a mouse, I'm going to use this one, it's uh, one of Apple's optical mice. Uh, and I'm going to use a cardboard box with a hole cut in it the size of the mass, a circle of cardboard, a drawing pin, and some gaffer tape. So, first off, um, take the mouse into the cardboard box. like that, so it sits uh, flush with the front surface. Take the circle of cardboard and put the drawing pin through it, like that, and then pin it through the cardboard box so that it covers the optical sensor, like that. Okay. I missed. There we go, like that. So you can turn it, and obviously the cardboard's moving past the optical sensor. Right. Now, let's put that there. The launch, um, launch bomb plane. There we go, and I think it's set up to go into full screen mode. It automatically starts iTunes. Okay, and there it is. There's Bomb Player there. It's in uh, window mode. Now, plug in the interface. And um, if we move it, you can see the uh, on-screen selections moving in the interface. So well, that seems to be pretty good. Uh, left moves you left, right moves you right. If you, for some reason, it turns out different to this, uh, you can go to the preferences and change the selection. Okay. So put, you can put it in full screen mode uh, from the menu or Apple app, full screen mode, and now when I move, it's moving back and forth across the list, if I go over to there, next selection, I get a pop-up menu, I can choose new track, um, there's a new track, it's got 19 albums, 33 artists, and 93 tracks. Select 93 tracks. Uh, down here, I'm just pressing the, the mouse button. Okay, so there's your list of tracks. And by turning this, you can get scroll through the tracks. 